Hello and welcome back to this Persona 4 Golden Let's Play with me, SLJ RPG. In the last episode, we uh, we got Yuki Kino to officially join the uh, the squad, the full squad, and here we have Yuki Kino at level 15 with the uh, Konohama Sakuya, and she is with the Priestess Arcana. That will be coming forward. So, in today's episode, we're going to do some more social building, a little bit of side questing. But, first thing we need to do is... Head up here, and we've got some studying to do, ladies and gentlemen. We certainly do want to study. You decided to study. Knowledge has increased. As you studied, you read a number of dictionary interests which piqued your interests. Knowledge has increased. Since you have completed the re and read expert study methods, you were able to study more efficiently. Knowledge has increased. We seem to be getting three, uh, three increases pretty, pretty seamlessly at the moment. Today is a Sunday. You have the day off from school. I wonder if something will show up on the midnight channel. You can only wait and see. What should you do today? Hello, it's me, Che. Do you have time to go inside the TV today? Now that Yukiko is with us, I think it might be good for her to get some experience being in that place. Just give us a call if you want to go. See ya. Che hung up. You thought about exploring the TV world today. We're not going to be doing that today. You can watch other things besides Persona 4 Golden. You can see the illustrations, take quizzes, and re-watch videos from the game, among other things. If you would like to select these, press the TV overlay button. The TV overlay button is shown when you have free time, so just after school or at night. Pressing the TV overlay button will open up the sync data menu. You can change the settings on the button, blah blah blah, set up the TV. Update notifier, press option to enable this. We're okay, we're not going to watch anything on the TV. We've actually got some things to do. I need to make my way to town. So, what we need to do is go into town. And what we are going to do first is go to the Sam. What's the word? Sam Weir. Love playing. Golden Week is going to be sweep everyone up pretty soon. You'll be having the time of your life at this age, won't you? Say I'm a little Jess, being my age and retired. Blah, blah, blah. I guess you could say that I'm also vacation. It's the same thing. There we go. So there is... I thought I'd find these happiness when I wouldn't be able to eat whatever I want. But now I've been by myself, I've been a little bit lonely. So I'm not coming here to take a walk. I can't do anything in the main house. My daughter's family doesn't trust me at all. There we go. We need to speak to one of these guys. Hey! Are you used to this place? It's so different from the city. I bet it's hard. Not only that, but Dejima-san is a male-run household. Must be tough. If you ever have trouble with cooking or anything, you can come to my place. You know, Susie Dagger, the the word. I've heard of it. By all means, come and dodge yourself. There we go. And it's this dude that we need to speak to. Hey, are you from around here? Could I ask you something? Talk to him. You know about Mori Ramanaru? Years ago, I was the manager at the Konishi Liquor Store, right here in the town's very shopping district. But I kind of lost the will to do business and I quit my job as the manager anyway. To be honest, I wouldn't come back here to the country, but I can't go back home empty handed. Do you have ramp here? Do you think you can find me at Mori Ranmaru for me? You're supposed to be managing the local product section or Konishi Nissan store. I don't know how much of this area I could bear to go back in there. So, could you look for it for me? I'll even give you a footing reward. How about it? I'll bring it to you. So, we shall be doing that. We accepted the quest, acquire Mario and so Sochu, but we need to now head down to the riverbank. River bank and speak to the old man. Hmm, I've got a problem. I thought I'd do sufficient, but I bought my rod, but there's no hook. I feel bad for asking, but have you spare food? You could happen to have one? You do? I'd be grateful if you'd oblige me. Hand it over. Yo, I wouldn't give me that totally shiny like me. I'm much by it. need to thank you somehow. Do you fish? Just let me get this hook on, found on, and here. Obtained a river rod. Nah, there's no need to be shy. It's it's old and this thing was a good opportunity, so I gave up. I was planning on buying a new rod anyway. This is to show my gratitude. Use it however you want. So we have acquired a rod. Which is obviously pretty handy. 
but we're going to go into town now. So, we need to fuse a new persona to do what we're planning to do now. And it's the reason that I needed to get to level 18, is because I needed to fuse a persona from the Aeon persona. In order to max our chance of wrecks. So, I think in order to do this, you need to do a triangle, and we need more than this, so let us check the compendium. Register personas, let us register all of them, may as well. I think it's always worth doing this, if you get the chance, every time you go in. Just means that once you fuse them back, they'll be slightly more stronger. And then, register Oberon. Cool, so what we need to do is use some of this money. And I believe we need to get the angel. We do not have enough suit room to summon this persona. Okay, so we're going to have to fuse some personas here anyway. Uh, normal. What are you and you? Does Orborus. Which we've already got. Or we can get a Jack Frost. I think that's actually probably for the best. And it has Mabufu as well. And Dekunda's pretty good as well. And this is going to be hella strong because we've already got the rank 4. I was going to try and get a Jack Frost anyway, but this isn't what we were trying to fuse. <laughs> but I will take it. We got ourselves the quintessential. I'm Jack Frost. Oh, uh, nice to meet you. The magic starter infuses Jack Frost power. Meaning he's going to get butts on our levels, actually. 17. He's also going to come in handy in the next dungeon area. So, I'll definitely take that. I also definitely needed... Um, we got resist skill. We welcomed him into our soul. Uh, and I need to do one more, right? Asparagus, I... As, as, asparagus, sorry, I actually need. Uh, we've... Oh. Let's do this as well. Because why not? Mabufu as well. Media is always handy. Turunda is always also very handy. And let's do Secunda as well. I want all of the buffs. We will. <laughs> it's a lot of effort, but I need I need three options. I need three spaces. Three in order to do this fusion. And once you fuse them here, they automatically are registered in the Cambodium as well. Which I'm gonna try and max out, obviously. The Basani Yashini is a merge from the sea of your soul. So we can use them on, but this should be what we need. Right, Compodium. Fuse Persona. Fuse. Ooh, Compodium, sorry. We don't need to register anything. We've now got Jack Frost registered and the Akishi also registered. But what we need, I believe, is a slime. And I believe an angel. I hope I'm right. <laughs> and then we need to go back here. We need to fuse personas, fuse, do a triangle, and get Asperger's slime. No, that's incorrect. Which one is it then? Let me quickly search this up. I'll be back in a second. Right, I looked it up. I cheated a little bit, but that's fine. I had to fuse away some of my other guys just to uh, enable this, but you need the oak back, and then in the compendium. Hopefully we have enough money now after all of this. <laughs> uh, we need Omakane. We certainly will be doing that. And then, now, we should have enough to finally fuse. We don't want to fuse anyone here. Let's triangle it up. If we take Slime, Oak back. That's... I'm very confused, guys. Where's my Aeon persona? <laughs> Or, oh, do I have to do it in a different order? So I don't have to go this way, this way, and then... No. 
What is going on? Give me a second. Right, I finally got there. Natatashi, Angel, and then Pixie. To get this. <laughs> this. It only took a little bit. So we've got Media Magario Hanma here. I think having Rakunda. Dikunda, obviously very good. This is acceptable to me. This is the the lowest level Aeon persona that you can get. But she will come in handy. God, that took so much more than I want. Wool infuses. So much longer than I needed to, guys. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know, level 19. Stats increased. Gotta be happy with that. And then, because we now have the Ame no Izume persona, we can now go in, or go back rather, and leave the Velvet Room. God, that was a little hassle. I mean, at least I registered a whole bunch of Persona into my Compodium that I didn't currently have. So that's going to be handy. Then I need to now go back in and check on the Dwellers. Listen to Marie's request. Huh? You're here. Do you want to take me somewhere? It seems Maria wants to go out. Since you have Anne Uzume, a Persona of the Anaconda, you two might get along well. You feel your relationship with Marie might deepen. We certainly will. Let's go. And we got three, th three uh, notes, so that it means it's good. Today I want to go to a lively place. I want to go to Junez. I've heard about that place. Wants to go to Junez. You decided to take Marie to Junez. Junez Electronics Department. You were dragged here by the excited Marie. Hey. What happened just now? Time sale? Everyone was rushing to grab something called salad dressing? Whatever it is, it must be worth fighting for. Hmm? Hey, Yukum, what a coincidence. What you doing here? Who's this girl? She's so cute. This is Marie. Oh, huh? Oh, yeah. Marie looks perplexed. Marie-chan? Oh, that's a nice name. I'm Chi Sonodaka. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. I know what this is. It shows a lot of stuff. Oh, you came to look at TVs too? Yeah, I want one too. We haven't got our replaced our old one. Whatever. I don't want one, but I don't. But uh, maybe can you turn it to star scandals? <laughs> so you do want one. I said no. I just was wondering how you're supposed to watch it. Marie seems interested in the TV. So, how do you watch it? You explain to Marie how to use a TV. Huh? One of those people who doesn't watch TV? That's right. There isn't one in the room. Really? Wow, you must have super strict parents. Girl, I don't think I could stand it. Life without kung fu movies. Blah. Oh, there's no eclectic loutwits in that room. Hey, tell the nose to install one of those eclectic lapwits. There's nothing to do in here. What does that mean? Hey, wait, Maria-chan? You don't even have electricity in your room? Oh, electric outlets. <laughs> That's funny. Junez Food Court. You came with Marie and Che. <laughs> Woo, that was good stuff. Satisfaction. I haven't had steak in a while, but I really isn't that bad at all. Marie-chan, you haven't eaten at all. You too, you can. You gotta eat if you want to grow up big and strong. Just kidding. You eat too fast. You're all gonna be fat one day. <laughs> you don't need- I don't need a hair of that. I'll go get us some drinks. Oolong tea sounds good. There we go. There's a lot of people at this June S place. Why? Don't they have anything else to do? They have TVs. They should be watching them instead of wasting time here. Mummy, I'm thirsty. I want soda. No, you've just had one. You'll have to wait. I want it! I want it! I said no. You'll rot your teeth. Marie watches the mother and son. Hey. Do you think I was ever like that? You don't remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot I don't remember. Everything. Marie looks serious. 
I don't remember anything. I was just walking, I had nowhere to go, and I just ended up in that car. The marker told me to stay there. She also gave me the name Marie. It's hard to be around without a name. That must be rough. I don't know. I can't even remember if it was tough. That's okay. It's not like it's troubling me or anything. Despite her casual words, Marie has a concerned expression. But I don't know why, but this town is familiar to me. Do you... Do you remember anything else? I don't know. The only thing I remember more like no is that this is mine. Marie is holding an old bamboo comb in her hand. I had this from the start. This is definitely mine. But so what? This doesn't help anything. Marie confided in you about her memory. You feel her relationship with Marie has grown deeper. And there we go. After all that fuss. <laughs> we're up second on the Aeon rank. The Marie social rank has reached level 2. Your power to create percentage of the Aeon Arcana has grown. Hmm. You're searching for the truth, right? You should stop. There's no such thing. Have this conversation's boring. Let's talk about something else. She's very moody. Sorry to keep you waiting. The shop is so busy, I owed and came back here. They'll bring it to us when it's ready. Uh, is it me or is the mood bit heavy around here? Don't worry, you two. I owed it for all of us. Oolang tea for everybody. There we go. See ya. After Talking with Marie and Che, you escort Marie back to the Velvet Room. Oof. That was so much longer than it needed to be. <laughs> Welcome home! Welcome back. Here we go. So, this evening, we're just gonna go study. Be the studious student that we are. <laughs> we're aiming to try and be as brainy, big brainy, as we can be. You decided to study. Knowledge is increased. You have completely read the book, so we've got two up there. Obviously very, very good. And then today is Monday. We have a lesson today. Oh. Good morning. It's raining. It's not gonna last past nightfall though. Every time it rained when I was over there, it must have been Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be so gloomy. I know, Golden Week starts tomorrow, right? Do you have any plans? I have a family out to. Oh, I see. That must be tough. But at least it looks like we're going to have a clear skies all week. It'd be nice if we could stay peaceful like this, but the mystery hasn't been solved yet. Perhaps we should visit over there once in a while so we become stronger. We're not. Not for a little bit, anyway. We've got to do it all in one go in order to max out social links for ourselves. I heard a lot of chatter about Golden Week, but don't forget this. First and foremost, you're students. Your duty is to study. You don't have time to fall around, alright? Do not misunderstand what freedom means. It does not mean that you can live without responsibility. Ethan Pythagoras said, As the laws are necessary for men, they are no longer fit for freedom. Next order of business. Midterms are coming up next week. The results will be posted to humiliate low scorers. Low scoring losers. If you don't want to be shamed, study hard. It's that simple. If you do well, who knows? You may become a more popular credit. And you know popularity leads to intimacy. On top of that, my repetition goes on. It's a win-win situation, people. Like I said, study hard. We have been. You listen to the country intently. Our knowledge has increased. Classes have ended for today. Will you? Will someone appear on the midnight channel again? You have no choice but to wait for another rainy night. I mean, it's rainy right now, but that is fine. So, we need to go accept a whole bunch of side quests now. The girl said Coach of Cubs looking for new members. She was in the drama club, but she said she was trying to get people to join the other clubs too. I'm sure they can find out more about it if you go to the facility office. But I'm sure you need to talk to Mr. Maraca. He'll yell at you for sure. Why does joining a club have to be so difficult? Is this something to ask you? Will you listen to me? What is it? To be honest... I haven't been able to sleep lately. I'm so afraid of so many things out there. But if I had some sort of charm, I could calm down and actually rest, I think. Like an angel statue or something. I could get the feeling that that could protect me. Someone from the city like you should know where to get those, right? Of course I'll repay you. How about you trade my old good luck charm for it? It's a key. I don't know what it's a key to, exactly, but it seems like it could be worth a lot. I'll keep an eye out. 
There we go. Really? Thank goodness. Well, then I'll leave it in your hands. We accepted the quest. Acquire an angel statue. Which is very, very good. But we need to... Now, speak to a shady student out here in the hall. As you remember, anyone that's got these things here... Uh, excuse me, do you have a moment? I must speak to you on behalf of the Mystery Association, or would you prefer the Occult Club? Surely a student of taste can appreciate the dark arts? Yeah, sure. I knew it, just as it was foretold. Perhaps you'd like reading one of your own? No, I'm getting a bit carried away, of course. I'd just like to get to the point of I'd let you down now, wasn't I? You see, I'd really, really... I would like a really, really dark Waterman for our club room. But that would be ideal, yes. After all, lasting first impression is the key. 80% of our choices are by dictated by that alone. So you must journey to an old castle where you would seek out the most evil-looking doom in statue you can. It should be obvious, but you'll have to look out... But to like finding one if you look for a magician of sorts. Ah, that would satisfy our needs splendidly. What do you think? You are capable of finding this right? Naturally, I, you can expect a reward from us. Let's see. I have numerous things. One of these might restore one's health. Catch my drift. I think I can find it. That's all. Hi, there has been foretold. Thank you very much. You should be rewarded handsomely. We accepted acquire a demon statue. And then now, we need to head into the practice building. And speak to one of the students here. Where are you, my dude? There you are. Hey, you know about crystal radios? They're really not that hard to build, but you have the right materials and an antenna. I made one when I was in grade school. I found it last year when I was cleaning my house. It really brought me back some memories. Maybe I'll make another one. Oh, hey, this has changed the subject. Would you mind listening to me for a moment? Sure. Well, I'm making another crystal radio, but I don't have all the materials I need. I don't have any Ritz wire for the antenna. If you know where that is, do you know where that is? I need a twisted enameled kind. I was gonna cannibalize a TV for the parts, but I, I couldn't figure out how to break it down. I thought if I could get one, I can't find one anywhere now. If you ever come across one, remember me, okay? I'll give you something not sold in stores in return. I'll look around and the TV. <sighs> you sir, some weird. You say some weird things sometimes, but it's all good. We'll leave in your hands then. I'll be waiting for a Ritz wire. It's not really sold in stores, so. We accepted that quest, and now what we need to do is we've got a big old, big old ramen to eat in the center of Stopping Sip. It's a rainy day, so we're going to do the Mega Beef Bowl Challenge at the Chinese Diner. But first of all, first and foremost, I am going to save. And then let us save on this one. And then let us go, because I we have to get the same understanding knowledge. We need to get understanding knowledge and courage up. And these obviously are set by randoms, so we need to make sure that we get that this time. So without any further ado, we certainly are going to be doing that. So let's spend some time here. Central Shopping District, Chinese Diner A. You accepted the Rainy Day Beef Mega Bowl Challenge. So, you still can't see the rice. You begin to suspect that you might be a portal to a meat dimension. The amount of meat contained in this bowl is truly staggering. In order to finish this bowl, you must have understanding. We already know all of this. But we need understanding, knowledge, and courage. So let's hope we get this. So, what have we got? Understanding. Correct. Courage, yes. Knowledge, diligence, goddammit. I'll see you guys next time. We finally got those three. So, understanding knowledge and courage. So, let's carry on. Ah, too bad, mister. That'll be 3,000 yen. Come back soon. Hey, I heard about some about you from my daughter. So, you're a transfer student. My daughter said you're cool. Her name is Akia. Unfortunately, she's out right now on a delivery. After finishing your meal, you went home. An Iniba Credit Union ATM to the north of town was destroyed today by an earth mover, and all cash inside was stolen. There we the go. The vehicle, which was abandoned at the scene, had been reported stolen by a local contractor. Since the culprit was able to act quickly before the security guards arrived on the scene, the police have... Ugh, Dad's late.
We're always drinking tea. Hello, Dad? Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. It seems as if Tajima will not be coming home. We're meant to go on our trip tomorrow. Alright. He said to give you the phone. He can't take those days off. Hello? Sorry, but I'm gonna be late tonight. Make sure you lock up before you go to sleep. And about that time off on the 4th and the 5th, one of the younger guys got sick. And, well, that case he's handling, we can't just let it sit. Looks like I'm the only one who can take over for him. <sighs> Poor Nanako. Sorry to spring this on you all of a sudden. Um, how's Nanako holding up? Would you mind comforting her for me? Thanks. All right then. See you. Not so good. Nanako went back to her room. You recall that there is a test on Monday next week. Study. We're okay for now. We're actually going to look inside the fridge because if the mega beef bowl wasn't enough, there's a dried up pickle in the plastic bag. Eat it. Eat it. And it should greatly. It tastes really good. Your courage has greatly increased. However, you don't feel well. You decide to go to bed early today. Which is fine. It's what's going to happen. Today is Constitution Day, so you have the day of school. You wonder what when it will rain again at night. Today, we're going to be doing something rather nice. Oh, morning. Nanako is watching TV today, as usual. It sounds like someone's here. Jay came to see you. Oh cool, you're home. Hey, if you're free today, want to go somewhere? Yukiko's coming too. How about you, Nanako-chan? Want to come? Um... Yes, come with us. Huh? Uh, I can come? Of course you can! Nanako decided to take... You decided to take Nanako along with Che and the others. Junes Food Court. You met up with Yoshke, who is still on the clock with you and Yukuko, who's finished her work back at the inn. Why'd you bring poor Nanako-chan to a place like this on Golden Week? Where else is there to go? I love Tunes. Nanako-chan. But we were supposed to go on a real trip somewhere. We were going to make boxed lunches. Wow, you can make boxed lunches, Nanako-chan? Oh, so you're the family cook? Pretty impressive, big bro. <laughs> Big bro. Whoa, you can cook? Well, you do seem to be great with your hands. Uh, uh, never mind. I'm a pretty good cook too, you know. Probably. If you'd asked, I would have whipped up some box lunches. Easy as pie. Yeah. Uh, let me think about no. <laughs> what makes you think I can't cook? Let's have a cook-off and see for ourselves. Let's do it. My, my, doth the lady protest too much? And hey, I never said I cooked. But I have this weird feeling like I'd win anyway. <laughs> I can understand that. What the? Yukiko! <laughs> Here, Nanako-chan can be our judge. I bet we'll make something that ranks up there with your mom's cooking, Nanako-chan. I don't have a mom. 
She died in an accident. Put your foot in your mouth there. Hey, I've, you're scared. I've done that before. I see. Um, sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. Even if I don't have a mom, I have dad with me. And now I have a brother, too. And I'm having a lot of fun today. I love Juness. She loves Juness. Yeah? That's good. It is good. <laughs> we'll play with you anytime you want, Nanako-chan. Yeah, we should hang out more often. I agree. Come on, Nanako-chan. Let's go get a soda. Okay. She is basically... Well, she's your cousin, technically. She's a strong girl. Yeah, she makes me feel like I'm the little kid here. That's it. I'm gonna go get something for Nanako-chan, too. Everyone's spoiling her. We're a big family. A family of friends. Do you want something, too? Nanako gives you a carefree smile. You feel a faint bond forming between you and Nanako. And there we go. Nanako is off the justice arcana thou art i i am thou thou hast established new bond it brings thee closer to the truth and thou shall be blessed when creating personas of the justice arcana so we're gonna hang out with nanako throughout this playthrough obviously because she is a social link you've established this nanako dojima social link of the justice arcana you may now earn experience when fusing personas of the justice arcana she is our sister. Cousin, sister. Cousin, sister. Want to share some takoyaki? <laughs> sure. <laughs> you had fun time with Nanako and your friends. Damn straight we did. And we're here in the living room. And then I'm going to quickly save here. Nanako is watching TV, but what we are going to do right now is I need to check my status. I need to get our knowledge up to expert. So I need to study and I need to make sure that I get a three, which I've been getting quite a lot, but if not, you know the deal. I will be going back and making sure that that happens. We do want to study. You decided to study. Your knowledge has increased. As you studied, a number of the dictionary entries that piqued your interest won. And then, our knowledge has increased, which is honestly very, very good. So every time we study now, I'm going to make sure I three until we're at expert mode. Today is, day, is nature day, so you have the day off from school. I wonder if you'll rain again today what should you do today we are going to try hey, yo it's might be good with us but I have to go out yesterday but do you want to go hang out again today I'll see if I can find something else if you come along with us I'll pass I was thinking we could hang out with Naga Chan, but I know it'd be annoying if I keep asking you guys to do stuff. See you later. You're scaring up. We've got some other plans for today. So, we are actually going to go outside. We shall be going out until the evening. And we are going to go into town. Let's head into the central shopping district. Well, we seem to spend more time than anyone else, to be honest. <laughs> and then we are going to the... We are going to be looking at this bookstore first. 
We've already got beginner fishing, haven't we? Cool. We're actually going to be hanging out with Che today, but there's something I want to try and do first. Which is, we need to see if we can win the lottery at the roulette machine. Bending, win the roulette in the, the machine up here. It doesn't matter particularly if we don't win, but I like to do it anyway. We may as well, you know. As you can see, our persona, Jack Frost, that we actually do have here. Have we won? We won a prize! You won another drink, which one will you pick? Lucky me. Uh, let's get the second maid. Your release has ended. But there we go. I think it's worth doing that. So, let us head back into the south. Now, do we have any Arcanas of the Chariot Persona with us? I don't believe we need it, but it doesn't hurt to have it. Justice Magician Priestess Aeon Hero. We may as well, may as well do this anyway. So let's go in here first. Check the Cambodium. View a Persona. Sort by Arcana, but change our display. Chariot, I believe we got these two here. Let's get the Nah. Yeah, let's get the Natashi. Because why not? I might be wasting my own money there, but I don't see why not. <laughs> Let's hang out with Jay. Oh, do you think this is cool? That shine, those curves. Man, I want that helmet. It seems like Jay has some free time. Since Rav Nata Tashi of the Persona Cherry Dog on it, you feel like you become closer. You feel your issue with Jay is soon to become closer. Will you spend the day with Jay? We certainly will. Same Jawa Riverbank. Hmm. This looks like a good spot. <laughs> you know, for training. I need to hone my kicking skills or I won't be able to use them in battle. I tried pressing home, but my mum dad yelled at me for putting a hole in the soji. Still, now, now's the time to train, right? It certainly is. Right. Yeah. You think so too? Shay looks really happy. So, let's train together. No? I'm cool with it. All yes, right. uh, thanks, you can. Shay looks really happy. You know, that thing, you know, from time to time? I mean, that shadow that came out of me? I feel pathetic for knowing that's another me. Makes me feel like I gotta work hard. Oh, right. right, let's do it. Between you and me, we'll be unstoppable. This marks the beginning of your training with Shay. You feel a relationship with Shay has grown a bit deeper. Bam, bam, bam. Another rank up. Chase, another social link has reached level 2. Your power to create personas of the Chariot Arcana has grown. Your chain has grown for far heart has affects the persona as well. Which she's learnt Rebellion. Which I don't quite remember exactly what I does up front. Let's start today with Frog Leaps. Come on, you try some. Later. You train with Che for a while and then walk to her path, pathway her with her home. And guess what we're doing now, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome home. Is that where once again? Gotta be safe abusing, unfortunately. <laughs> to make sure that we get that triple knowledge. Hopefully we get it first time. We want to get to expert as quick as possible. Of course, with midterms coming up, we do wish to study. So hopefully one of the paragraphs piques our interest. If not, I'll see you guys in a sec. Your knowledge has increased. A number of dictionaries piqued our interest. That's another one. And that's three, once again. And we've gone to expert. Bam, bam, bam. Nice, nice, nice. You have no plans for today. You decide to go somewhere you don't usually go first. We're going to go to Yoshiniba Station. We decide to go to Yoshiniba Station. No one is around. It seems like the next train won't be coming for a while. 
Buy a drink. Obtain a tap soda. Always handy. You decide to go to the shrine in the shopping district on the way back. There's no one on the premises. The dusty shrine doesn't seem to be well maintained. You decided to go home. You think. You sent someone watching you. Strange animal. I love this. I love that there's a, a social link with a, with an animal. A mysterious fox suddenly appears before you. Does it live at the shrine? The fox is staring at you. You notice an Emma plaque in its mouth. The mysterious fox nudges the Emma into your hand. It reads, please help grandpa's legs get better, Kieta. The Emma has someone's wish written on it. Why did the fox give it to you? you? Upon close inspection, you notice an usually shaped leaf stuck on the back of the Emma. You don't recognize this leaf from the local plant life. Is this the work of the mysterious fox? Oh, not every day you see youngins like you around here. Nobody lives here anymore. I came to tidy up things once in a while, but lately my legs are so achy I just can't do it. I've been trying to get this place up to snuff, but there isn't enough money to go around. Well, I suppose I'll pay my respects. If my legs... Oh, hell, I can't maintain a stride. That and I won't be able to visit Kato anymore. He's my grandson, you know. You wonder if this could be the same Kato who wrote the Enma. Please help Grandma's legs get better. <sighs> what do you got down there? Could it be? That leaf, that's it. Way back when, my grandmother always used to give, say a leaf shaped like that was the best kind for an egg remedy out there. Mm, what memories. How about you get your hands on this? I don't think you could find those in the mountains anymore. Please, young man, could I trouble you to spare me that leaf? Certainly. You gave the old man the leaf that was stuck in the back of the ember. Oh, that's it. This is it. Now, let's see here. The old man stuck his leaf onto his leg. Oh, I can feel it. It's working. Amazing. The pain I've been feeling for who knows how long is just up and vanished. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Why I feel better than I have in years. You really helped me out, young man. I'm so grateful. Now I can go visit my grandson. You better pay thanks to the shrine for bringing us together like this. And he's running off like crazy. You marvel at the amazing results. Not only did you heal his eggs, it restored his vitality. The fox looked on from its hiding place with a contented expression. It seems you understand that the wish of the Enma has been granted. The fox is peering into the offertory box as if to check its contents. It seems to understand that the shrine has received an offering. Perhaps you were given the Enma with the leaf for that express purpose. Yep. It seems like he's taken a liking to you. It's a mouthful of the same leaves as the one gave you to the old man. It seems the fox has a large stock of mysterious leaves with healing powers. Yep. The fox is looking up mirthfully. It's something it wants from you. You cannot help but strange account of realize the shock is showing you a pile of leaves. You feel a faint bond forming between you and the fox. Thou art I, I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings you closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the Hermit Arcana. Obviously very, very handy. You have established the Fox Social Link of the Hermit Arcana. You may now earn an XP boost when fusing Personas of the Hermit Arcana. Where does it find such amazing leaves? You reflect on how useful it would be to have this kind of help while searching on the other side. Yep! Does it understand your thoughts? The box gestures towards the offerary box. It is offering you its services for a price. Yep! It seems the mysterious house has agreed to aid you in your search, however it is a required fee for its cooperation. You return the Emma to the shrine and went home. So basically there's going to be a shop now, at the entrance. It's getting late, you decide to go home. What an odd day, it must be said. 
prime suspect in yesterday's ATM robbery in northern Inaba was arrested earlier today. The alleged thief is Pomena Sushin, a 26-year-old former employee of the company which reported the stolen vehicle. According to the police investigation, Pomena Sushin was... I'm home. Ugh. How many days is he gonna call in sick? These rookies lately sure are... Welcome back! Nanako. I'm sorry I broke my promise again. Oh, um, my big bro and his friends played with me instead. There you go. I see. Thanks. Oh, that's a Juness bag. <laughs> What's in it? <laughs> Good eye. Well, today is Children's Day. So I brought you a present. What has he got, Nanako? Yay! <laughs> Ooh, a t-shirt! With the duck bill patipus on it. <laughs> it took me a while to decide what to get you. You like it? I got you one too. Not that you're still a child or anything, but fair is fair. <laughs> it's a swimsuit with an odd design on it. We're gonna say thank you. Always say thank you. Don't mention it. I thought you might need one soon. Well then, let's eat. Okay. You spent a pleasant evening with the Tajimas. We certainly did, but I think this is a good place to say if you've enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe. We've got ourselves two new personas and ranked up two others. So, I'll see you guys next time as we continue on on our adventure. Peace.